Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and in today's video, we're going to show you our wireless charge sensor. So you have an adapter, and you have uh, attachment as such, but this is the one with the crocodile clips on. So you've got red and you've got blue, uh, blue, black even. So you've got red and black, and I've already uh, attached those on here. So it's mainly for static experiments. So I've got a CD or a metal disc, or whatever you want to use for that. And I'm simply going to show you with some different rods, I'm going to use the static cloth, put the rods down, uh, go down a few times and rub them, just like you're doing with the balloon on your top to create some static, touch it onto there and it'll pick it up on the software. Now, all our wireless sensors are Bluetooth and USB, also with a built-in rechargeable battery. And at the front here is a six digit number, which is unique to the sensor. So if you do have multiple charge sensors in the classroom at once, the student will know which one is which. Now you hold the button down for two seconds, it will now turn it on. That's now broadcasting Bluetooth. Go to the EasySense 2 software and click on devices on the top left. It only picks up data harvest Bluetooth devices. We now go and click on connect. And there's two ranges to use this on. I'm going to be using the plus or minus 165 NC, which is nano coulombs. So we're going to use that one there. I'm going to click on snapshot. I'm going to have this just as a numerical reading. Have this as a bar chart so we can actually store the information on there as well. So click start. Now you see at the moment it's showing 2.1. Two, if I touch on there, there you go. So we just discharge back down to what it is. Now, if we just sit here for a moment, you'll notice that is going up. The static in the classroom, in the lab we are here, there is static here. If people are moving around the lab while you're doing this, it can affect it. Uh, weather outside, especially thunderstorms and so forth, can also affect this. So you do have to be, just take other things into consideration when you're doing this experiment. So. We'll start with Ebonite on here. So we're just gonna go one, two. See, it's actually affecting it <laughs> all the way over there when I do this. So if I now touch, you'll see it goes to a negative 28, 30,000. Now, what I can do when I do that is take sample at the top and actually take a reading. Go to the next rod. Try and stay, see? <laughs> Affects it even when you're doing this from this far away. It, it is amazing. So you can now go and do this one. You don't have to touch it and that's positive. So we can take a read in here. So we can see a positive on there. We'll do a couple more, but it really is as simple as this. So these electrostatic rods you can get from most suppliers and it is really nice one. So we can go onto here. So that's wow. So that was really taking it away there. So there you go, that's down to minus. And so we're trying to do four or five each time. Mate, you should do exactly the same each time on here, but if we go closer with this one on here now, you'll see how that is making it positive. Now we had that as a static, uh, so we're using a st uh, charge sensor here and we're showing it numerically on the screen. We could have, if we'd wanted to, shown that as a, t uh, as a table and we could have added what each of the bars was as you're going down there. But the charge sensor is exceptionally good, obviously for the physics, for electrostatic. If you want to see how more of our videos and how our sensors work, please go to the Secondary Academy on our website, uh, data-harvest co.uk and if you go to uh, Secondary Academy you can see how the sensors wireless sensors work how the EasySense 2 software works and more experiments like this on all of the wireless sensors we'd also like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so please subscribe click on the bell down the bottom and allow notifications if you have anything else or you have any questions at all from us please just contact us on sales at data-harvest.co.uk thank you